Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Business Spotlight Series. I'm Linda Cry with Action Coach XL Edge and the host for today, and we are going to meet Holly Jones, and Holly is an entrepreneur in true spirit, and today we're going to hear more from her about her role in the Lund Company as an executive and, um, you know, hear a bit more about uh, influence as a leader and um, what insights she might share with us. So Holly, first of all, thank you for giving up some of your value t valuable time. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, thank you, Linda. I really appreciate the opportunity. Beautiful. Well, let's just chat a bit. Let's talk about um, you know, who you are, what your role is, and maybe how did you find your way into the work that you're doing today? Sure. So um, my name is Holly Jones. I work for Cushman Wakefield, the Lund Company. I've been with the company for about 20 years. 19 and a half. So long time. Uh, in 20 years, you have a lot of different jobs. So I didn't start out where I am today. But I, I kind of use the analogy, if you do one, one job well, you'll probably get two or three other jobs. So that's kind of what's happened here. Um, I actually started out as a marketing person. And I got recruited to the Lund Company right out of my job. I was working for a marketing agency and uh, the Lund Company and the malls that they manage were one of my clients. And so early on in, in my career with the Lund Company, I managed malls. Um, so I was on the property management side of things. Um, and then about 12 years ago, I moved over to the commercial brokerage department. And uh, for that period of time or since then, I have been a director of retail services for our department. What that means in layman's terms is um, I specialize in leasing and selling commercial real estate. And uh, I love it. It's uh, like you said, it's entrepreneurial at spirit. Um, no days the same. I deal with anything from restaurants to convenience stores to malls, strip centers, all the fun stuff. Um, I am not an office broker. I'm not an um, industrial broker. Um, I'm very specialized in what I've done, what I do, and I've always been in this arena, and I just love it. Beautiful. I love that. I love to hear that. So as you have evolved and grown, and again, we reward our top performers with more to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, we sure. do. And part of that is then to discover how do you let go of some things, right? So that whole delegation piece and training and building a team around you. Let's talk about that a little bit. What, what's been sure. the process that's worked well for you? Yeah, it's a great question. So um, we can't clone ourselves, unfortunately. So we do need helpers and it takes a small, you know, small village, as they say. Um, I do have a couple individuals working with me as partners, um, which have created uh, my success and their success over the years together. Um, but my team consists of about six other individuals, along with some administrative staff. Um, and a marketing team. Um, without them, I couldn't do this. Um, but what we've learned over the years is we have a program within our company that uh, most of our agents start out as interns um, or they're fresh grads in the real estate um, industry or industry, industry. Uh, I'm sorry, educational background. And they're, they're new. They, do, they don't know anything about selling real estate, but our company gives them the opportunity to come try it out. Um, kind of a try before you buy or commit. And so when they're interns, which the six individuals that work for me are, it's, it's really unique. They've all been interns to start. Um, and I've got some younger folks and some seasoned, fo seasoned folks, but um, they started out as interns and they kind of learned the business by the senior level brokers. And uh, we teach them the industry. We teach them the good things, the bad things, the, um, you know, it's kind of all of it. Um, how to process deals and what our internal processes are to be successful, et cetera. And then typically after an internship program and some training, they end up being brokers. Now, brokers in our world are independent contractors. And so it is a very entrepreneurial business. You have to learn to time manage, be motivated. You know, we don't get a paycheck every two weeks. So um, you kind of make hay, you get paid based on your production. So um, it's really important that we, our new people and our, our young people are focused um, and they get good training and they get, get good processes so that they can be successful. Beautiful, beautiful. And again, the investment in people is mm -hmm. usually through training and education and good processes. And I agree with you. When you find people that are aligned with who and what you're about, you've proven that when you invest in them, they will grow with you and the reward mm -hmm. will be there. I'm curious about, um, especially since you said you started in the marketing space, right? In that, mm -hmm. in that area. 
Um, talk to me about what a massive marketing machine would look like in, in your industry or in your world or on your team. Yeah, it's, it's quite different and a little bit unique from any other business that, you know, has a traditional marketing strategy. Um, when you're marketing yourself and your business in the commercial real estate world, um, you, you're marketing yourself specifically, I would say. Um, you want to be a credible, honest, trustworthy person. Um, but then you also are marketing your uh, the ability to be able to sell and lease and manage sometimes people's biggest asset. You know, um, when people own real estate, specifically commercial real estate, you know, I always used to joke because residential real estate is such an emotional world, you know, where you live and what you buy in your house and what you do with your first investment with your home is so much different than commercial real estate. Commercial real estate is really business to business relationships. It's business to business transactions. It isn't people being involved in, you know, paint colors of houses or, you know, how their living rooms laid out. It's completely different than that. So, um, you do have to market yourself to be credible and intelligent. And we really, really um, encourage our new people um, at the Lund Company and the folks that have worked for me over the years in commercial real estate to find an area of focus so that they can be the expert in that arena. Um, it's really hard to be a generalist in this business because nobody knows everything about everything. So you've kind of got to pick a, an arena to be really intelligent in. And um, I believe that once you've networked yourself and build, built good credibility, you know, business has a tendency to follow you. And so I've been very, very fortunate um, to have made Producers Club for years and years and to, you know, get great accolades with, you know, power brokerage and just different things. Um, and I really, truly think that's, it's at all a testament to marketing myself, you know, marketing what I do best and um, my customer service and, and those things. And that takes time. Um, and if you can keep that up and you can be really good with your clients, you know, word of mouth travels really, really fast and well for you. So. Absolutely. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that is akin to my next question, which is what is the continuous learning process that you use personally Holly, to stay on top of where things are, to maybe grow to what's next for you, or even to identify the people on your team with that continuous learning process? It's really, really hard, especially in today's market, but we we pride ourselves on learning every day. In this business, There's, I don't think in 20 years I've had one day that's been the same. Um, and that gets really hard to learn when no day is the same, because if you learn something, then you can repeat it. If you learn something in this industry, it's really hard to repeat it because tomorrow will probably be different. <laughs> so um, it's it gets tricky. Um, but I do I do believe all the time in education. I mean, we have parameters around our license that forces us to do a certain amount of education annually. But we do a lot of internal training here, and that training could be anything from you know um, how to speak to customers, how to make sales calls, back to cold calling on the phone. Um, talking to them about financial situations. A lot of people, you know, we have we have a lot of banking and financial conversations with people that are selling and leasing property. Um, we're coaching people a lot on their business plans mm -hmm. and their model and performing their business to see that they could actually lease a space and be successful. So, you know, we have to learn those things before we can teach those things. So, and advise on those things. So we're learning every day. Um, you know, what to advise our clients. And we do it through a handful of things. We are a Cushman Wakefield Alliance partner, and that provides us with a lot of data and a lot of uh, training information. We also, um, we hold annual sales meet, or I'm sorry, um, weekly sales meetings. Um, and that is the entire brokerage group. So that's um, all the folks in the other spe areas of specialization. So we kind of learn from our internal team. You know, I learn every day from what the office folks are doing. And I learn every day what the industrial guys are doing. Um, and they learn from us, you know, because we share experiences. Um, we also do a lot of um, the locals uh, conventions and education stuff. Um, we get credit for attending a lot of things. And um, so we we are the biggest uh, folks in attendance for all that stuff. So, you know, it, it is tricky. It's hard to keep up with the education piece, but we we make it our priority um, because we want to be experts. So absolutely. You're, you're really in the service industry. You just happen to yeah. be in commercial leasing and right. We are. 
Yeah, it, it, because that's, that really becomes the marketing message. The experience that they have with you is the story that's going to be told mm -hmm. that will be the referral for the next and the next. Correct. And you, you, know, gotta here. you gotta talk to Holly, right? That yeah, I mean, I would say now early in my career, it was one of those things where you got to kind of find your way and you've got to build your reputation and your credibility and your network, I would call it. Um, you can be really good when you're young, but if you don't have a lot of clients, you're not, you know, you're not making money, you're not, you're not pr performing, you're not uh, doing transactions. So it takes time. And once you do really well with a few customers and they start referring you, then that referral business starts to snowball into, you know, I have kind of a nice little book of business here. Um so that's, that's kind of how it starts. It is not easy. I tell all my new young brokers, um, this is not get rich overnight. I, I think they show up and they see, oh, all brokers in commercial real estate drive nice cars and they have big houses and they, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen for everyone. So, um, you know, we tell people this is definitely a two to three year learning curve. Um, to really make livable money and to be successful. And, you know, everyone measures success differently, but I think for us, we do have a threshold of like, this is when you kind of know you've done well. Um, and we have a pretty good success ratio with our company. There's a lot of our, for uh, a lot of our competitors and other firms that we see a lot of, um, I guess I would say at turnover. Um, and we just don't have a lot. We have a lot of longevity here. We have a lot of 20 plus year folks here that work on the brokerage side of the business. And that's really, really a testament to, you know, our company. So yeah, it's good. It is good. I talk about it in this way. Um, if you're not intentionally re-recruiting everyone you want to keep on your team these days, somebody mm -hmm. else is because right. It's a talent. It's a, it's a, a talent opportunity out there. So um, I think that from your results and the way you're measuring it and investing in your team and your people, that's worth everything. Yeah. And I would say, um, you know, over the years, I've been asked to go a lot of places and everybody gets recruited. If you're successful in what you do, you get phone calls. And sure. um, I've never had a desire to leave the firm that I'm at. And I've always told people I kind of wear my Lund shirt. So um, I got my Lund t-shirt on all the time. And do I ever think I'll, you know, never say never, I guess, but I never think I'll probably wear another firm's t-shirt. I probably just wouldn't be doing this. But I will say one thing that my company and I do as a director of my department is, I really pride myself on morale and camaraderie and creating the right environment. I think a lot of people work for our firm. And this isn't a pitch to our company. This is just a pitch in general to people. A lot of people want to work at the Lund Company because they enjoy the environment. It's fun. They like the people. We all get along. Um, I will say I'm the only female broker in my company and have been for a very long time. And so um, I'm a little bit one of the guys. And that's okay. I, I started out as a kid sister and now I'm like, oh, she's just, right. they're on her own now. <laughs> so, um, you know, I was everyone's kid sister for a long time because I float around with a lot of uh, male suits. Um, but they're very, very good to me. And um, they've always been extremely um, respectful and they treat me very well. And the, the male brokers, which are all of the individuals in my department and, and on the brokerage side of our company, um, are very cognizant about making sure everyone that works for our company feels comfortable. And that's age, experience, gender, you know, all of it. And we've really created a good environment. People, people want to work here. We get, we get applicants on a very continual basis. And there's something to be said for that. For sure. um, this isn't the most desirable job in the whole world. Um, you can be very successful at it if you, you know, but it's not for everyone and it's hard work. So the fact that we still get applicants on a regular basis and other firms call us and say, we want to come work for your company is just, it's great. It's, it's a good, it's kudos for us, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. A, a full, an older term would have been employer choice. I start talking about destination employers, right? Mm -hmm. What is it about your organization that's this magnet that people are attracted to it? And you reference mm -hmm. environment. So yep. we just chat a bit about that environment. Um, where are you located? Do you have office space together mm -hmm. as a part we of do. We have a corporate headquarters. Um, we're in Regency, 450 Regency Parkway. And we have a phenomenal building because we're in commercial real estate. So um, I started with the company when there were 17 people, including partners and upper management and everything. So I've been around a long time and we now have almost 400 staff members. So it, it's I've watched a lot of change over the years, but it's been just amazing and just a fun thing to be a part of. Um, 
you know, I have to introduce myself to uh, employees at company parties now <laughs> where years ago I was like, well, I know everyone in the room. This is great. You know, like these are all my friends. And yeah. now it's like, I don't know half these people. I should maybe get to know some people because our company's so big now. But um, we do. We have a great corporate uh, headquarters. We now on the multi-family side of our business, which is the residential side of our business, which is kind of apartments and, you know, condos and that sort of thing. Um, we manage over 27,000 units now. Wow. That's huge.